Hey, what's up, principles of food prep? Man, missed y'all last week. Um, I got to send out that one video, and then I uh, went ahead and just gave y'all some time to get caught up and stuff like that, which I'll get to in a minute. But uh, just wanted to let you know that I'm missing you. I'm missing being in front of you. I'm missing your smiling faces. Uh, I've been doing a ton of cooking at home, and I wish I could be with all of y'all. And I hope that you're doing some cooking as well. Hopefully, you're doing some other than just sitting around and, you know, gaining weight and stuff like that. But, you know, got to get out there and do some. As y'all can see, beard's getting a little thicker, hair's getting a little bit longer. But, hey, this is the way things are right now. But you know what? Uh, things are going to get better. I know it. I'm believing in it. And it's going to be a great, great day as we go over our lesson today. A couple things I want to go over. Number one is attendance. Remember, guys, it's very simple. You check in, you just say, hey, Chef Abbott or something. Let me know that you're there. I am checking y'all off. I do have a sheet of paper. I check y'all off all the time. Some of you have got my emails that let me know, that letting you know, blah, 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 blah. letting you know that I didn't see you that day. That lets you know that I didn't check you off. So if you get an email, that means that I didn't see you for whatever reason. So make sure that you get caught up. Make sure you check in with me so that way we can uh, let me know that you are there. We are taking attendance. And remember, when it comes down the stretch and you're asking for grace and mercy for your grade, uh, I'm probably going to be looking at how well you're keeping up with my videos and attendance. So please make sure you get on it, guys. All right. I'm trying not to make it overly tough, but remember, you got to do your part, okay? Good. Number next, assignment, get caught up. End of last week, I gave y'all the rest of the week off. I basically gave y'all one assignment to get caught up. Some of you took advantage of it and got all caught up. Many of you did not get caught up. Don't get buried at the end. Remember, y'all know how I operate. When I, it's time to give you grades, I'm going to get you what you earn. So get caught up. My questions aren't that hard. Ask a classmate. Trust me. Ask many of your classmates. Trust me. My work isn't that hard. It's to keep you long and just to keep you thinking. Some of you probably just copy and paste whatever somebody gives to you and you go by your business. Okay, fine. Many of you are actually taking the time to learn this stuff. Guys and ladies, learn some of this stuff. This is some good stuff here that I'm trying to give to you. If you choose not, that's on you. But I'd highly recommend it. Also, projects. Y'all need to get that stuff to me. Get in touch with people because those zeros are going to stay in. And that's a test grade. So if you're wondering why your grade is tanked as low as it is, it's because I haven't gotten for anything from you and your group. So you need to get on it. All right. Now, today's lesson is we're going to talk about the Mediterranean. Mediterranean cooking is one of the fastest things taken off here in the United States and around the world and stuff like that. Why? Because Mediterranean cooking is actually very healthy for you. First, let's consider where the Mediterranean is. Mediterranean is right here in um, over in the Europe area, uh, uh, heading towards Asia and stuff like that. Italian and Greek influence. You got Syria, Israel, and Palestine. And then you have African in, I bet that African influence from Egypt and Libya. So I mean, think about the melting pot that this is. I mean, that's a huge melting pot of foods from different areas that totally do different things. Um, Italy and Greece, healthy seafood diet. Syrian is Syria uh, is Syria and Israel uh, spices things like a curry. Things of that nature, uh, lamb, cooking, and Egypt and Libya kind of takes a little bit of these guys, which gives you Mediterranean cooking. Three of their biggest exports is olives, grapes, and wheat. Uh, heavy with that. If you've ever heard of Greek wraps, it's a grape leaf that they fold rice and usually lamb in, and you eat it. It's absolutely delicious and stuff like that. So some stuff I want you to think about as you're doing your questions this week for Mediterranean. Um, very healthy cooking. There's actually a diet, if you remember way back when, when we talked about nutrition wellness, there's actually the thing called the Mediterranean diet. And the Mediterranean diet is set out because it is very healthy cooking. So this is something you want to keep in the back of your mind as you're doing this. Remember, guys, don't just fly through this and try to just get it done as fast as you can because it's a chef have his assignment. Take your time and actually learn it. All right. 
when else are you going to actually have this kind of time on your hands to learn this kind of stuff, okay? Yes, get done with your work and stuff like that. And as you have free time, you know, take a take a couple of minutes from your um, uh, your Facebooking, your Instagramming, your slapping and twacking, your twicking and twacking, your Twitter and twacking, okay? Take some time from all of that and take a couple moments and actually learn what Mediterranean cooking is and stuff like that because many people would enjoy this kind of cooking. This may be something that actually interests you, okay? So remember, attendance, get, get with it, get with me, you know, let me know that you're there. Assignments, get on it, guys, don't get behind it. Mediterranean cooking, answer the questions. It's going to be a great day. Take your time, be safe out there, and we'll see y'all later this week.